One task we like to do when building out brand new search accounts for clients is to proactively research and implement negative keywords. Yes, that's right. We will implement negative keywords in accounts before any campaigns ever go live. We do this, one, it'll save us time in the future, two, it'll save us money from these junk keywords showing up, and three, it gives our new campaigns a better head start. So in this video, we will show you our favorite ways to proactively implement negative keywords so that you can get them in your account before they ever show up in your search query reports. I'm not going to go in any particular order about which strategy is my favorite to proactively research negative keywords. But for this video, I'm going to start on Google because Google's auto suggest or autocomplete, whatever you want to call it, can be a very valuable resource to try to find keywords that you may want to exclude right away within your accounts. So for this video, I'm going to use a client that we recently have that does cleaning in a variety of industries. And one of the keywords the client wants to go after as I start typing it in is warehouse cleaning. Already, we're seeing some words within these search terms that we do not want our ads to show up for. Let me zoom out a little bit. The first one I'm definitely going to add to the negative keyword list is checklist. And probably down here, probably also the broad match negative of template. We can assume that these types of searches are for people who want to do it themselves. So job and career type terms are the ones that we typically add immediately. Unless, of course, the goal is to try to get more job applicants. Well, of course, that's a totally different story. But pretty much none of my clients want that. Now, warehouse cleaning services is very specific. So I'm going to add this to our search term. And now we're starting to get a few things. One, giving us alternative search terms, like industrial factory, could give me new keyword ideas. So that's a benefit there. But in terms of negatives, we're seeing locations that we definitely do not want to show up for. This is a chain that only focuses in the United States. So if there are already plenty of queries showing up and that are recommended or suggested by Google, this could give me a good understanding that I can maybe find a nice list of all the other countries in the world that aren't the United States and proactively add them as exclusions. Going back and removing this, this could be very old school of me, I will seriously go through the alphabet. Warehouse cleaning is my root keyword, and then I'll add an A. I see alcohol. That's not for us. There's robot, not for us. Instead of A, I'll go B, more bots, talking about belted coats and jumpsuits. So literally in the next word, I'll just go C, D, E, F, G, and just see what other types of keywords that there are. Write down the list of all the irrelevant words that are showing up within these search terms and add them to my negative keyword list. Okay, getting rid of this, I'm gonna type in services again. And this time, let's look at the search engine results page for this term. There's some local services ads at the top, but then we see a few normal text ads. We're gonna use some of these ads as examples. But the next way I like to proactively research negative keywords is to use Google Ads. And we can do this by using the Keyword Planner, which is up in your tools and settings. And then head on over to Keyword Planner. If we discover new keywords, I'm actually gonna start with a website. And heading back to the Google search results, I'm gonna use one of the domains that's showing up in the results for the main keyword that we are going to target within the new campaigns. So I'm gonna take this Jana King URL, copy the link address, and then I'm gonna go up back to Keyword Planner and then paste in the URL. It's gonna to default to you looking at the entire site, or we can choose to only use this page, which is what I'm going to do. Now understand it isn't completely warehouse cleaning services like we were looking for, but this is the closest that it's gonna get. So let's see what we get here. And right now it's still leading to a bunch of generic terms, but we're seeing other things that we would definitely want to exclude, like staff, cleaning people, very generic, start your cleaning business, there's retail, and more and more that I probably don't want to include. If you feel that scraping a specific page is just too generic, we can go back and discover new keywords. I'm just gonna type in a few options right here, get the results for these. Now we're seeing something a little bit more specific. As of right now, these are actually looking fairly good, but maybe there's some specific service for warehouse cleaning that the client doesn't want. I'd be able to find that here and confirm it. Let's say for whatever reason, they don't clean floors, which is false, they totally do, but there are some specific floor cleaning options here. So we would exclude those from the mix. Here's a good example right here of something I would wanna exclude, Amazon. How many Amazon warehouses are there? Sure, it gets a decent amount of searches. Don't wanna deal with that in the future. I would exclude that one. So type in your current keywords, see what junk shows up in Keyword Planner, take other companies or your competitors' URLs, put them in Keyword Planner, see what other type of junk comes in, create your lists. It's easy to select the ones that you want, export them or make a plan that you could export later, and that'll make it easy just to copy and paste it into your negative keyword lists. But we're not done with those competitors. We're gonna come back to a few of these at the end. 
Another way I like to proactively research negative keywords is to use a variety of free tools that you'll easily be able to find. Let's look at the first one. I love this first example. I'm immature. It's got a funny name, but I'm going to pronounce it keyword sheeter and it's keyword sheeter with two E's dot com. Again, this is just one of the many free tools out there. So go to Google and type in free keyword tool or free keyword research tool. You'll find a variety like these, but I already typed in the warehouse cleaning services query. I'm not going to add in any negative filters. I want to see everything it's going to provide me. And then I'm going to click start sheeting. Stop laughing at me and look at it go. Just compiling a bunch of different results. I already see junk coming through. We already talked about excluding countries. Now I'm seeing individual cities that don't make sense. And this can go on for a little bit. So through the magic of editing, I'm going to jump ahead once this is done and ready to pull. So I purposely paused the scrape down here. See it's at 354 keywords. But as I said, we're seeing cities and countries again that are outside of the United States. I'd want to look at all of these and try to exclude them. As it was scraping, I could see certain relevant terms pop through like how to terms. You may or may not want those depending on how big your budget is and how high of top of the funnel you want to go. There's house or home, even though it's tied into industrial or warehouse terms. Maybe I don't want that because I want to avoid people cleaning houses. And there we see it right there, more house or home terms. And I would just keep going down, 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 down until I find something. To make it easier, you can just click and highlight everything, copy it. If I open up Excel, just going to pick anywhere. You can copy and paste it, super simple. Then it's easier for you to just take the ones that you want and then copy and paste whichever ones you don't want if you want to use the full search terms and include them within your negative keyword reports. Just like we're already seeing, besides negative keywords, we're definitely finding some good ideas of new keywords to add into the account. So kill two birds with one stone and include the negatives within your research when you're starting off with new accounts. Let's look at another free tool. This one you're probably familiar with. And this one is answer the public. Another easy one to find by looking at free keyword tools in Google. I already typed in warehouse cleaning, kept it a little bit more generic, just in the United States. And I already have the results. See if I can blow this up a little bit because the font is pretty small. So we're seeing certain things here for cleaning products. Don't want that. More how to terms may or may not want that. Some of the stuff don't even mention warehouse cleaning, you know, asking more questions. Is it legit? I don't want someone questioning if my business is legit or waste ad money on that. So that would be something that I'd include more house and home terms. Go down a little bit again, more talk about cleaning products. There's procedure and guidelines. Again, I don't want people looking to do it themselves. There's checklist jobs. Can warehouse people wear shorts? I know you think this might be silly, but with the way that match types are working now, I would not be surprised if any of these queries would show up in my search query reports or whichever the search queries we still can see within Google. Even something like how to clean a warehouse dust. That is just a weird question to ask anyway, but just because it has warehouse and clean in it, I fully expect Google to show my ad on a query like that. Thanks Google and you too, Microsoft, the way your match types work, aren't that much better. So use a lot of these free tools to try to find different queries that you will want to add and exclude to negative keyword reports. But besides free tools, we also like to use some of the paid tools and our preference is SpyFu. And already remember the list of search results that we first looked at in Google. I already took one of the same URLs and typed it in here so we can go into PPC research and look at PPC keywords based upon specific URLs. The reason I like to use this tool is because SpyFu isn't showing us the keywords that this company is bidding on. SpyFu is actually showing us the search terms that a user typed in, which triggered this brand's ads. And if I'm using very familiar brands, AKA use your competitors URLs, you will see what types of keywords you could show up for. And this is very valuable. So this specific URL, that's a very specific service. Somehow it's showing up for how to start a business. Definitely not relevant to what my client wants to promote. And some of these are very broad and not extremely industry specific to what my client wants. So to avoid the risk of showing up for super broad keywords or highly irrelevant search terms, I'm going to run through my clients, websites and specific paid landing pages. If I really do want to keep my campaign focused as specific as possible. Okay. This is just one example. I'm going to paste in another URL that was also in this search engine results page. I know some of the stuff is showing up is their brand name and it's different terminology than the other account, but I would still go through this and see specifically 
what super generic or irrelevant terms are showing up, get them on another negative keyword list, and keep my campaigns as focused as possible before launching anything. As always, we will run through negative keyword options with our clients that we feel might be on the fence. Pretty much a maybe exclude list. We also want to make sure, especially industries like this, because there are certain times where we're working with industries that are so niche or specific that adding in so many negatives gives us no volume. So you want to be careful and mindful of that aspect too. But once you have all of your keywords collected, yes, SpyFu is a tool that we pay for. There's other tools like SEMrush that do the same thing. But for us, it gives us much more volume that we can also easily export. And it makes it a lot easy to implement. And those are just some of the few ways that we like to proactively research negative keywords. If you can't afford a tool like SpyFu, there are clearly other ways that you can research keywords for free. Whether you're just using Google or the free keyword planner tool within Google Ads or other free keyword tools that you'll easily be able to find on the internet. There are so many ways to help save your new accounts a lot of money before you even launch a campaign. It's also going to make your ongoing native keyword research tasks that you're doing for your clients a heck of a lot easier. So hopefully this will save you a lot of time for all of your clients. And if you have any other ways that you like to proactively research negative keywords, please let everyone know in the paid media community in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.